Now, parents have been advised to be deliberate about the proper upbringing of their male children before and as disciplined and good examples, as a good example is more potent than precepts. This was the consensus of stakeholders at the International Day for the Boy Child Essay Competition organized by Mother's Love held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyezoku was there and she filed this report. In most African societies, more women and girls receive attention and consideration than the boy child, and as a result, the neglected boy generally grows up to be a bigger danger to society than the girl. A mother's love initiative, AMLI, a social change initiative that campaigns for the overall well-being of the African child, is worried about the trend and its consequences on their well-being in adolescence and young adulthood. In the course of our project, The Hurry Child, which started about six years ago, we noticed that the boy child, a lot of the boys are not speaking. And this gave us the, a reason to say, okay, we need to talk about the boy child because if the boy child is not doing well, it affects the family fund. Hanatu Ewemadu decried the growing neglect of the boy child, saying that this adversely affects their well-being and consequently threatens their future. If we continue at this rate, it's going to be a huge problem, which we're already seeing right now. It's important for us to begin to speak about the boy child, to encourage our society to begin to see how we can encourage them, how we can embrace them, how we can lead them in the right direction. Panelists agree that the bulk of the work lies on the table of parents to ensure that the boy child grows up to become a societal blessing and not a cause. You have to be intentional about parenting. Children will be children, they will cry, they will manipulate. You have to understand your role. The Bible says train up a child in the way he should go and gives you a promise. When he is old, he will not depart from it. In our younger days, if you misbehaved and you are disciplined outside, you pray that the person doesn't know your parents because once you are reported to your parents, that's uh, double jeopardy because you will be punished again back home. So societal influences have become uh, one of the uh, perhaps beings in the bringing up of children. To further amplify the campaign against the neglect of the boy child in Nigeria, Amli created a platform for young boys to compete among themselves and to creatively render their insights on the topic that says the importance of a father and son relationship from the lens of the boy child. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. With me in the studio to discuss the neglect of the boy child is the head of research and projects of Mother's Love, Mr. Mohamed Ahmed Ademola. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so for my first question, um, the growing neglect has over the years had adverse effects on the well being and future of uh, male children. Um, what do you think about this? What's your opinion on this? Okay. Um, generally speaking, every child grows through um, developmental milestones. And across those developmental processes, there's interaction between nature and nurture, meaning um, the biological makeup of the child, the genetical makeup of the child, and the child's interaction with the environment. So um, when we come to talk about how the neglect of the boy child um, affects his, our well-being, we're talking about how parenting or caregiving or the roles of um, neighbors or the society has actually failed in grooming an ideal boy child. So, and um, as a child grows, before the age of 18, the child is still a full dependent, meaning he has to relate with resources around him for survival, you know. And if a boy child is neglected, when a child is neglected, depending on the personality makeup, it's either the child displays internalizing behaviors or externalizing behaviors. When you find a boy child being too shy or withdrawn, the child is probably reacting to how he feels about his environment. If a child is being aggressive or a child is being destruct destructive, it's also a form of response 
it's, you know, to certain um, deficiencies in ISO environment. So very importantly, a lot of studies have, you know, have found the fact that parental neglect and um, the, the, the poor roles of caregivers have actually contributed to the poor well-being of the male child. And uh, obviously, the attendant consequences are the things we've seen in society today, you know. While growing up, let me just point, paint it this way. You want to bake a cake. He has meant to mix certain things together. And in the process, you probably do not do the mixing properly. Then you just push the paste into the oven at very high heat. So, it, you know, what, does it, what comes out? It becomes, you know, burnt outside and inside it, 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 it's disintegrated. That's exactly what happens. You know, the boy child is so neglected that he, he has to probably find a way to make meaning out of what he has around himself. And, and, and one, one of the major reasons why this becomes more problematic is that the boy child is also being rushed to grow. So in the process of rushing, he grows prematurely, you know, and the, the society has expectations of him. His family has expectations of, of, of him. And because of the idea that a boy should be strong and how, you know, he can't actually express himself. He can't even, a boy that doesn't even understand his own identity, that does not even know who he is, that has not find meaning or, or, or his space within his home or within his um, uh, environment, you know, it becomes a lot of problem. Speaking of family, what do you think, how do you think that the father-son relationship can affect the life of a boy child? Thank you very much. That's a very good question. Um, and that brings me to... Um, my concerns for the disintegration of the family system. No matter how superhuman a woman is, she can't adequately take the role of a man because the place of a woman is of warmth and um, compassion. The place of a man is protection and, and, and you know, the boosting that confidence in, 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 in the children, you know. And, and, and a man has, well, uh, there are several theories. For example, the psychosocial development theory, according to Sigmund Freud, you know, there are certain stages where a man has his relevance on the growth of the female child and also on the male child. So now, coming to the father-son relationship, the fastest and the best way for a child to learn is by role modeling. It's what a child sees those around him do, that sinks into his, his um, repertoire, you know, his psyche at, as it grows. So it's important for fathers to, you know, to have a very, you know, um, what I say, uh, to, to have a two-way communication with their, with their sons so that they can, you know, reduce the problems we have today, you know. Having more interaction or communication with our children not only gives them the confidence that, yes, I can also be a better man, but it also helps them learn from the mistakes of those fathers and become better men. The fathers today are actually failing, and there's still a gap between them and the children they are grooming today. So you can imagine. So we already have a failed parenting system. We already have failed fatherhood. And more importantly, is also to talk about the relationship between those children and their grandparents. So there's also the place of grandparenting okay. in this discussion. Okay. So what is your advice for the boy child that feels neglected? Okay. For a boy child that feels neglected, there are several risk factors that are associated with this um, discussion. If it's a situation that is, without, with, is, is, is outside the control of the boy child, for example, he has lost his father, or for some reasons, it's a separate parenting situation, uh, we have a single mother, you know, where the father is totally absent. You know, we could have an absent father, we could have an uninvolved father, we could have a present but not an intentional father too, you know, and we could even have a present and intentional father but still has poor parenting practices, you know. So all these things have, you know, their, their attendant consequences. So for a boy that is struggling to find meaning, the first is to say that, you know, in, in those days, and I, which I still believe should be applicable now, it takes the society to raise a child. It should, ask, it should, it should look up to those around his, his environment, it could be neighbors, it could be relatives, that probably see something that, 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 have, that give him attention, 
that he also sees as someone he could look up to to have those conversations. Because the bottom line is, is having to discuss, share your emotions. That's the problem. The boy child's emotions is just bottled up. He doesn't have anyone to discuss it with. So it becomes, it, it makes them hardened, you know, and, and, and in the end, they just, um, you know, collapse. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to talk about, but, you know, I'm just trying to so, domesticate the issue. Um, for my last question, yes. you mentioned something, and I want you to just be very, very, just summarize okay. and be very short about it. You mentioned something about training a boy child. Yes. In your opinion, how do you train a boy child? Like, what, what strategies can you use? Very briefly, please. Okay, what applies to the boy child also applies to girl child. I have to make that clear, okay? Because what we are actually advocating for is to say that uh, it's not just about helping the girl child become better. Because if you focus on the girl child and she is intellectually savvy and she's very much okay in the works of life and all that, who is go she's still going to have to marry the boy child. So if we neglect that boy child, then who would she have to marry? That's part of the problem we face. Now, coming to say, um, how can we um, train. train the boy child? I would say f at the family level is to ensure that fathers are actually very involved in how the fathers relate with their, with their, husband, with their wives is very important because that's what the fa child first understands, how he treats his wife, okay? Then how, you know, the father now relates with the son, also matters. The kind of exposure and experiences, the kind of rituals the child is put through. You know, in the African system, we have these rituals, ideal rituals the child, if a girl goes through, a boy goes through. But because of westernization and um, you know, um, popularization of culture, we don't take these boys through these rituals. So I believe domesticating the boy child is actually the best way to actually groom the boy child. If the boy child, as it should cultivate the habit of responsibility from, 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 the teen, from, the, from the early years, very as little as you know, washing the plates, tidying the room, and all those things are things that we have to go back to, which are actually very missing in, in today's family life. Well, thank Mr. You very much. Mohammed Ahmed Adimola, thank you very much You're for welcome. joining us on the news at the time. Thank you very much for having me. Yes. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.